Hey everybody, I hope everyone is doing fantastic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a floating image, be it for yourself or a model, uh, something like that, okay? So sit tight, it's up story, but we'll get through this. Right guys, we're up on the moors, just up from our village, and with my partner, Michelle. Say hi, Shell. Hi. Hi. <laughs> right. um, this is just a quick one. Don't take this as composition or anything like that. This is to get the images the easiest of how you want to do a floating image. So what you are going to need is your camera and a tripod, something to stand on. Shell's going to hop on top of the Jeep in a moment. We did also bring step ladders, um, but it's just not working. So she's going to hop onto the Jeep, okay? So what you're going to need to do wherever you've got your model, which is Shell up on top of the Jeep right now, um, you need to get an image. Will we, we get in there? There we go, a bit messy viewfinder, but we're gonna take the image of her up there first, and I'm gonna put it on auto so it focuses on it. I'm just gonna take a few, just in case. And then, once you've got that shot, thank you very much, Michelle, you've been amazing. Clap, 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 clap. You can come down now, please. While Shell's uh, just putting shoes back on to get ready, just take this in. Absolutely stunning night. A few inversions going in the uh, Conway Valley. Madness starts down there tomorrow with the National Ice Death Fod. Right. You need a hand, do you? Oh. <laughs> okay, now I want your models down off whatever they're standing on safely. And a lie. I'm going to take the exact same shot as you did. Right, I have to stop myself there. So last night taking the photo with Michelle on the dupe, I completely forgot to remove the dupe out of shot to get the background shot, yay! So we're gonna hop into my old photo soon, which we'll see um, so we can finish up this edit. Apologies about that. Last floaty session up on the moors by my house, um, which you would have seen via Instagram. So just go to the Lightroom, you're going to highlight your two photos needed, you or someone else standing on something to create the float, and the exact same composition, um, but with just the background, which I failed to do last night, um, selected as well. You can right click or double click, go to edit in, and then you're going to click at the bottom, open as layers in Photoshop, okay? So these are both loaded up for me. Make sure your background layer only is at the bottom and then the model you standing on something is at the top, okay? So there are many ways to do this. The easiest and most cleanest way, well not easiest, sorry, the cleanest way to do this is to use something like the pen tool, select um, you or your model. Uh, what we're going to do is the quick selection tool. I'm just going to go over and select as much as me as possible. It doesn't matter if I go outside, so we can uh, brush it all off in a moment. So once you're happy with your selection, quickest thing to do is add a new layer mask. Bam! That will take what you've selected out, okay? Now we're going to switch to the brush tool. Make sure the foreground um, selected is on black. A quick tip as well, if you want to change that, just press X on your keypad. This is Mac anyway. So we're going to have black. Um, I've got the hardness on 90% at the moment, 137 in size. Um, you can also use the bracket keys on your keyboard to increase and decrease the size, really handy. Right, just uh, start brushing. Best thing to do is zoom in, zoom zoom. Decrease that bit. You don't have to go straight to the edges at first. Just do the easiest parts where it's a straight edge. Remember if you did accidentally, boop, delete something, press X, switch it to white, and just bring it back. Get all of that in there. All right, X. I'll just speed this up a bit for you now. Right, 
Boom. And boom. There we are. So ideally I probably would like the background to be more blurred. Uh, the best way to do that and sort out is make sure the bottom layer is selected, just your background. You're gonna go up to filter. We're gonna go to blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, <laughs> too much. I'm gonna just drop that down to about. Ooh. Two will do. It's up to you if you want to add a uh, Gaussian blur or not. You could want the background completely clear. It's <laughs> your call, your photo. So now that we've got this as well, um, I will add a tiny bit of. Gaussian blur onto me too. Just sort out the edges a bit, that's all. That'll do, 0.6. So that is about done. Um, you could which I will do just for the purpose of this. Go to crop, put Instagram size, uh, 4x5. Get that all in there. Oops, there we go. I'm now gonna add a new layer completely. I'll just leave it there for now at the top. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is select my paint bucket tool, black, Click, fill it, and I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to go to render lens flare, I'm going to drag this roughly as I can to the middle, and I'm going to make this 80% and select 105. Okay to that. And then up here I'm going to go down to screen. Use my move tool. You can create whatever effect you want for this. This may not work for this composition, but I am just going to uh, add it in there for you. Now it's selected again. We're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, I'm going to go straight to eight. I'm going to add some the filter adjustments with that layer on the lens flare selected. Uh, I'm going to go to Vibrance, just drag that over here. Okay, I can't. Take that down a bit. Make sure it's clipped. Create a clipping mask at the bottom. It looks like that. See what that looks like. Mm. Not a hundred percent on the on the flare. But I'll leave that in there anyway. Okay, so that's basically it, guys. Um, to get started with your flow, depending on. If you create a lens flare or a sun or anything like that where it actually is in the photo, you could create a shadow layer underneath. The height that I'm actually standing anyway, it would be silly having a shadow underneath me or even just here. Um, it would be out of shot really. So I'm going to leave that how it is at the moment. Um, let me know in the comment section if you would like to learn how to add a shadow or anything like that. So I'm going to select the top, shift key and to the bottom. Now I'm going to merge layers, Ta -da. so that is one, I'm just going to try and rename this, floaty. Now I'm going to go file, save, Whoop. 
into Lightroom. There it is. And then you can finish doing your edits however you like to do. Um, I should have done this in Photoshop. Um, I'm just going to select this shadow area here. Boom, move out of the way. And then it's up to you if you want to go ahead and make your own personal edits and things like that. Um, these are my preset packs over here. Let's see what the shadow looks like. Probably go and go to my smile and then just play around with it a tiny bit, okay. Sick. And then obviously file export bosh. Load it up. And that's it for the computer side, guys. Bro, I messed up. I messed up Saren. Help me. No, you saw out your own problems. Okay. Till next time, folks.